have great taste, especially with your radio choice. Thank you for spending a little time with Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Kiss Country 93.7 is Gary and Bristol. I don't know if you know, but we have something that nobody else has. We have a Bessie. Kiss Cash Cow. Oh, yeah. And she is utterly loaded. <laughs> okay, the Kiss Cash Cow. If you are new to Kiss Country, let me explain how you can win up to $30,000 with a Kiss Cash Cow. Every morning, starting at 820, all the way through 520 in the afternoon with Crystal, every hour, about 20 minutes after the top of the hour-ish, like 8, 20, 9, 20, 10, 20, you get the picture. We give you a another Kiss Cash Cow code at those times. You enter that in your Kiss Country app. And don't just send us a message. There's a special place you've got to enter that, okay? So enter that in your Kiss Country app. It gives you another opportunity to win that $30,000. Now, the cool part is it's only going to take one entry to win. But you get to kind of stack the deck the more of those that you enter. And a lot of places, you know, we'll talk to several people in an office. And so they kind of team up. It's like, you know, there'd be four or five of them in like a little group text. And they're like, okay, did you get 9 o'clock? Did you get 11? I, I, I got 2 and 3. Did somebody get 5? And they're able to all enter that that way. And then, you know, I guess if, if they win the money, they all split it. Something along those lines. But it's an opportunity to win up to thirty grand, courtesy of Greg Tilly's Bozier Manufactured Housing. And that next code, like I said, you know, Bessie's ready to go. Coming up at 820. If you haven't downloaded the app, get that done and be listening for it. Kiss Country, 93.7. Making life better one morning at a time. It's Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Wake up. It's Gary and Bristol, Kiss Country 93.7. 73 degrees, high today, about 89. Won't be a bad day at all. Possibly some rain tomorrow morning, according to the Weather Channel. Oh, and you know, for like the last hundred years, we've been thinking, ah, you know, this will be the year that we get the flying car. I'm not even sure that anybody's working on it. But a little less awesome, there's a robotics team in South Korea. They're developing something called a palatrone, which is a shopping cart, combination of a pallet and a drone. They say it'll be an improvement on the shopping carts we got now. It'll be able to go over any kind of terrain, including up and down stairs. Current version of the Palatron isn't that smart, though. It can hover at a certain height while safely balancing whatever cargo you put on top. And it doesn't even have to be a basket. It's stable enough that it's more like a table. But a human still has to control it. There's a handle on the front like a normal shopping cart, and you exert force to direct it. Uh, they say that um, if people leave this cart in the middle of the parking lot, it'll remain stationary at least until it runs out of batteries. And they say there's a solution to the battery life problem. They're working on a docking system for it. <laughs> They're doing all this for shopping carts. It'll allow Palatron to change the battery of another one in flight. They say they're not going to be showing up at your local grocery store anytime soon. They're still in the early testing phase, and the carts right now only hold about seven pounds of cargo, which is less than a gallon of milk. They say there aren't many stores or parking lots that require you to go up and down steps, so you uh, may be hoping that this is something you could carry your bags up the steps to your apartment. They say that probably isn't realistic, though. Developers say that uh, they believe this will be most practical for commercial and industrial use rather than residential. Still not a finished product, but uh, who knows? They may eventually be able to, to make it real. Okay, so you can make a shopping car, but you can't, can't make a flying car? Come on, Brainiacs. We expect better. Kiss Country 93.7 has some really good news for your wallet. Our cash cow is going to help you fight inflation when you win cash. Up to $30,000 cash. Listen while you work for contest codes every single hour from 820 to 520. Enter them on our app and you could win cash. Up to $30,000. Download our app 
to play and for full rules and info. Powered by Greg Tilly's Manufactured Housing, now with expanded delivery up to 175 miles from Bossier City. Right here on Kiss Country 93.7. Hey, Valdine, take a little ride. Kiss Country 93.7, Gary in Bristol. That's what you need to do. Take a little ride to Bodcaw this Saturday. I don't know if you've been around long enough, but if you get up about 4 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday here in the next few months, everybody in the line at the cash register at Circle K is going to be carrying a cup of coffee wearing camouflage. We are into our hunting, whether it's deer hunting, duck hunting, squirrel hunting. It, you know, if it swims, flies, runs, we'll shoot it and eat it. And this Saturday, all across the nation... We're celebrating National Hunting and Fishing Day, and Bodcon again this year is planning another huge event. All the kids love this, so mom and dad get them loaded up. 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. there at the Bodcon uh, Bayou Bodcon Dam and Reservoir in Houghton. Uh, the event absolutely free. They got all kinds of uh, fun, informative exhibits for you. And a ton of contests and demonstrations. They got an archery tournament, the youth duck hunting calling contest, uh, the electrofishing demonstration, hog trap, bullfrogs catching, game skinning. They've got BB guns and shotguns, muzzle loader, paintball, archery, beekeeping. You ever wanted to find out, you know, where the honey comes from, how they do that? They've got somebody there to do that. There's arts and crafts, a blood drive, no alcohol. Visitors encouraged to bring their lawn chairs or blankets so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the day. Again, this Saturday, 9 to 2 at Bod Call. All the info in your Kiss Country app. They're like a band-aid for all of life's bobos. <laughs> it's Gary and Bristol only on Kiss Country 93.7. <laughs> Kiss Country 93.7. Thanks for letting us ride to work with you or school. We're just out for your morning jog. God, if you're jogging right People now, do that. I am so jealous of you. I wish I had the energy. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Take a trivia time. We got another four pack of passes for Piney Park in Marshall, Texas. You see me jogging, it's because the guy with the fake chainsaws after me at Piney Park. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. That's All not right. a jog. She's running as fast as she can, I swear. <laughs> well, it just appears to be a jog. <laughs> All right, if you missed the answer to yesterday's ticket trivia question, here it is. It takes one whole cow to make 20 of these. 20 what? NFL footballs. Apparently, Google said ribeyes or steaks. A whole cow made 20. 20. Yeah. Okay, today's question. Around a fourth of all women say this is the best place to meet guys. Huh. You agree? I I haven't had any experience with this. Okay, so you'd be part of the three quarters that don't say this. Correct. Okay. Around one fourth of all women say this is the best place to meet guys. But if it's true, I'm willing to try it. Yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Seven two five five four seven seven. Oh, Good oh, luck. Oh, Seven two five. Oh, kiss. Oh, oh. This is Darius Rucker. It's Wagon Wheel, Kiss Country 93.7, Gary and Bristol. And, you know, for the last couple of hours, we've been telling you that the Shreveport police are really showing up in numbers this morning looking for missing persons in the area of Green Terrace between Dean Road and Cana Drive. Well, we just got this from the Shreveport Police Department. They are looking for two kids. Charles Williams, who is nine years old, a white male, And Cajun Williams, a seven-year-old white female. Kids left their residence in the 3300 block of Green Terrace uh, sometime before 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, We've actually got a couple of pictures of these kids. Um, The the family is just beside themselves looking for these kids. And we're going to get this up on the Kiss Country app as quickly as we can. we got somebody that's working on that now. Uh, But if you are in that area... Let the police do their job, but understand that um, these cute little kids need to be back home. Yes. And we need to make sure that we can. So check that Kiss Country app, and and you'll see the the pictures of these two kids and know that um, if you spot them, 
you want to immediately contact the Shreveport Police Department. I, I don't know exactly how long it'll take us to get it up, but hopefully in the next few minutes. Okay. Hello. Got something to tell Gary in Bristol? Call them at 725-KISS. Or you can leave them a voicemail on the KISS Country app. It's KISS Country 93.7. Be Bryce, one of them girls. Shreveport Bozier's number one for new country. KISS Country 93.7, Gary in Bristol. Unconfirmed report. Mm-hmm. Those two kids were found. We do not know this, but we did talk to a Stephanie a few minutes ago, and mm-hmm. she said, hey, look, she said, I, I'm the one who spotted these kids there, uh, right there at the corner of Burt Coons and, what is that, Green Terrace right there? I want to say, they, yeah, they were in front of the Thrifty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it, unconfirmed, hopefully. Um, we'll get th- that confirmation and, yeah, yeah. soon from Shreveport Police. And I'm not yeah. denying, Stephanie, but we no, just can't no. release that. Indeed, they have been found right, you yeah. know, from an unconfirmed report. Well, we need an official channel. Okay, so we are going to try to turn things to the lighter side. Continue searching until we know for a fact that, mm-hmm. you know, they were found. But, you know, here in just a little bit, at 820, we're going to give you the first Kiss Cash Cow Code of the day. And that means you can win up to $30,000 from Greg Tilly's Manufactured Housing. Mm-hmm. And 30000 ain't chump change, but it's probably not life-altering either. I mean, you win thirty grand, you can go to Hawaii. Gosh, that would be so nice. You can pay off a couple of bills. Man, thirty grand. you know, I, I don't even got to go to Hawaii, you know. I, I could go to Alabama and be happy, you know what I'm saying? I don't ask what? for much. Oh, we go from Hawaii to Bama? I'm just... What? That's what I'm what? trying we to say. We go to Bama. Is, is I'm eat- I just saw a post with a bunch of like waterfalls in Alabama, and it was really pretty. We I'm just saying, Hawaii I don't ask for a Bama. lot. It doesn't take a lot to make me happy. So when we start talking about how much money you need to make to quit your job, yeah, it ain't thirty grand. I mean, no, no, it's not thirty grand. I mean, yesterday I probably would have done it for a nickel, <laughs> you know. So it depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you think about these things and it's like, okay, what would it take to pay off everything I owe and then maintain a standard of living and then have a little bit extra back? Yeah. Could I do that for a million? Yeah. Probably at today's interest rates. Yeah. I you mean, know, if you I invested say, wisely. Million dollars, you know, it, 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 say 4% interest. There's 40 grand just never touching the principal. Right. So, yeah, I could do it for a mil. I, I, for a, for a million dollars, I will go to the house and put on my camouflage and move to the deer camp. <laughs> what about your wife? <laughs> She's welcome to come to the deer camp. <laughs> so what about you? How much money would it take for you to just say, no, nope, that's it. It's a wrap. I am going to the house. I am done. And I know there are certain people, I wouldn't care if I won $100 million. I love my job. And I love my job. I do. But it does not, it's it's not the end of me. I, what is that? I work to live, don't live, live to, to work. work. Amen. You know. So what about you? What would it take? How much money would it take for you to say, adios, got to go. We'll not be seeing you tomorrow. 725-5477-725, kiss. I'm not sure how I- Thanks for making us part of your morning. Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93. Kiss Country 93.7 is Gary and Bristol. Thinking about you, Dustin Lynch, Mackenzie Porter. Thinking about you and that Kiss Cash Cow. 30 grand. What I'd do with that money. Uh, We're going to milk Bessie coming up. You know, I think with 30 grand, I'd probably get a new bass boat. Yeah. That's probably what I'd do with it. But would I be able to retire on it? No. 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 What you would do is the bass boat would be an investment. Yeah. And then you would retire on your winnings. Yeah. That you made as a result of purchasing the bass boat, which would then make the bass boat a business investment. So and you, then you get to write it all off. You, uh, you've been listening in on my conversations with my wife. <laughs> I'm trying to convince her. I really do. I mean, no, honey, honestly, it's a business investment. I think that's investment. solid. Yeah, see, it is. It is. You're right. You got to learn how to, you know, put it under the LLC. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so uh, probably not enough to make you quit your job. But there's a number somewhere. Mm-hmm. 
What would that number be? How much money would you have to win in order to quit your job? Honestly, I don't even have to win a whole bunch of money. If my house is paid off and one smart comment at work and I'm out. <laughs> I feel you. There are some days I'm like, try me. I'm sitting on the go button. Just just push it. That's right. Not even worth it. Like, I don't even have to be here, guys. I'm here for you. <laughs> hmm. We need more cowbell. Kiss Cash Cow Code. First one of the day. Make sure you put this in your Kiss Country app. 735. 735. Put that in your Kiss Country app. Could win you up to $30,000 from Greg Tilly's Manufactured Housing. Next Kiss Cash Cow Code about an hour from now. Coming up at 920. Kiss Country 93.7. Nothing puts the good in your morning. Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Kiss Country 93.7, Gary and Bristol. You know, earlier this morning, we were talking about the $30,000 that you can win with a Kiss Cash Cow. Mm-hmm. And we said, you know, that's that's a good chunk of money. Yeah, it's good money. But probably not enough to make you quit your job. And we found out, you know, from different people, there's a lot of people just sitting on go right now. They don't need to win a whole <laughs> lot of money. As long as the house is paid for, they got enough for the electric bill. Uh, just say something cute at work and watch how quick they're gone. <laughs> Employers should probably take note of that right uh, now, yeah. huh? But that kind of morphed into another subject, and I can't wait to hear about this tomorrow morning. So what did you want to be when you were a kid growing up? What was your dream job? I either wanted to be a veterinarian or a 4-H extension agent, like for the parish. Yeah. Going around to the different schools and working with the kids. Yeah. Like, shoot, if they called today, I would listen to them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I thought that was the coolest thing. And you wound up a disc jockey. I know, right? How did that transition happen? Well, I mean. Where'd that train come off the tracks? <laughs> I still like large animals. I mean, <laughs> men, whatever. I know. <laughs> So what about you? What would when you were a kid, what was your dream job? And what did you actually wind up doing? I wanted to be a coach. I can so see that. I just, that was my dream. I wanted to be a coach. I wanted to be a football coach and I wanted to, you know, to be able to to transform young guys into real men. You couldn't and, pass muster anymore. And my buddy be too tough. No, my buddy my buddy Kristen Dukes is, and then they beat half your brains out and you became a disc jockey. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> what would you, what would you have been if you had become your dream job? And then what's the reality of it? So what was your dream job? What did you do? We'll find out tomorrow morning. Don't forget 715 more Piney Park passes with Ticket Trivia. Almost as important as your morning coffee. It's Terry and Bristol, only on Kiss Country 93.7.